the new hero in the Nexus is going to be Garrosh, and he just got his information posted on Batonet website. And there he is. I am still streaming on time to see him, so nice. As the new Warchief of the Horde, Garrosh is a proud and vicious warrior who rules with an iron fist. His hatred for the Alliance burns like wildfire, and he will stop at nothing to destroy them. By his axe, the orcs will reclaim their rightful glory. This is skin number two, and it looks a little bit like uh, Mad Max Fury Road to me. Really cool skin. Of all the biker gangs marauding the wastelands, none are as feared as the Warsong Outriders. Led by the mutant warlord Garrosh, the roar of their engines is the sound of death on wheels. He better have a voice line called Witness Me. Heroic abilities. Warlord's challenge. Silence nearby heroes and force them to attack Garrosh. Garrosh for one and a half seconds. Silence nearby heroes and force them to attack Garrosh. So... That is the same thing as Taunt. Taunt is also coded as a Silence. And so one of his heroics is an area of effect variant Taunt. For half a second longer. Oh look! I think he's a main tank! He ranks very highly in survivability. That's awesome! I wanted a main tank. Decimate. Deal 50 damage. Okay, so it's not 90,000 damage like the World of Warcraft uh, raid boss. Or 100,000 damage. Uh, they scaled it down to uh, to fit Heroes of the Storm. I think that's a good thing. Uh, decimate. Deal 50 damage to nearby enemies and slow them by 30% for 1.5 seconds. Deals 100% more damage to heroes and each er hero hit reduces the cooldown by 1 second. Stores up to 3 charges. Okay. Nearby enemies. So it's kind of like, like in a circle. Slow and damage, you hit minions, you hit monsters, buildings, everything. Double damage to heroes. And when you hit heroes, there's a CDR. And you have three charges. So all three charges will have a cooldown reduction uh, part. Groundbreaker. Deal 81 damage to enemies in an area. Oh, here's Groundbreaker. Okay, so Groundbreaker is a kind of cone shape in front of him, apparently. Deal 81 damage to enemies in a hero of uh, two enemies in an area heroes hit on the outer edge are pulled towards garage that's kind of like uh, a version of johanna's condemn or s of johan of Li Ming release so okay that's pretty cool this is a main tank kit all right bloodthirst deal 156 damage to an enemy and heal for 10% of Garrosh's missing health. Healing is increased by 100% against heroes. So, if he's missing all of his health, and he's 1 HP, he will heal for 10%. And if he's missing half, he will heal for 5% of his total pool. Seems like a decent normal sustain, but can't be too OP. I don't think that's too OP. That seems pretty normal. Wrecking Ball. Throw. <laughs> Throw a nearby enemy hero, minion or merc to the target location. Dealing 91 damage to enemies near the impact and slowing them. Oh, that's awesome. I wonder if you can throw Murid in too. Nobody tosses a dwarf. You will not tell the elf about this. That's awesome. And I feel a little excited about his trait. Because I think... I think it's armor up. Yes! One armor for every 2% of max health missing. They ported the Hearthstone ability. Garrosh gains one armor for every 2% of max health missing. So they say armor, but it's gotta be shield, no? Oh! It's actually armor! Not shield. And it's passive. Greetings, he has friend. a slider bar of armor between 0 to 50%. 
<laughs> yes. Yes, Garrosh and I are going to have a lot of fun together. <laughs> okay. And this is how Decimate looks like. So he gets up to 49.9 repeating, of course, armor, which means taking half damage. <laughs> Greetings. And Warlord's Challenge is an Ari of Effect ton. This is awesome. It's exactly what I wanted for Garrosh. I, you know, I must admit, I like Bruisers. I like Sonya. I wanted another main tank in the Nexus. And I didn't know what to expect because I haven't played World of Warcraft and I don't remember Garrosh from Warcraft 3. I do remember him from Hearthstone. And it, it just seems awesome. Oh, and he's going to be on PTR in five days. On the 31st of July. He'll hit PTR. And that's NA ping, so I won't be able to play him that well because I'm going to have 150 milliseconds ping delay. And then he should be released the week after if uh, if everything's normal. And that means he will release on the 8th of July. Should be normal. On the 8th of July in America and the 9th of July... Ah, sorry, August. The 8th of August in America and the 9th of August in Europe. Cool. Awesome. Son of hell. He's the son of hell. No, he, I know that. Cool. Awesome. I really like his kit. It seems strong. And I haven't even seen his talents yet. Wait, there's a video? Where? Oh, there's a video too. Cool. Let's watch it. Let's watch it right away. I didn't think they will have the video already. Victory or death. Though he grew up ashamed of his father, for drinking Manoroth's blood, Garrosh Hellscream was filled with fierce pride when he learned of Gromash's heroic sacrifice. After joining the Horde, Garrosh quickly rose to become the commander of its forces in Northrend, and eventually Thrall's successor as War Chief. His hatred for the Alliance is unrivaled, and he wants nothing more than to crush them into dust. Now, the Nexus trembles as Garrosh's war song echoes across the realms. Garrosh is a resilient and relentless warrior who uses brute strength to crush the will of his opponents. Garrosh's trait is armor up. As he takes damage, his armor increases in proportion to how much health he is missing. The lower Garrosh's health, the less damage he suffers from enemy attacks. Groundbreaker is Garrosh's first basic ability. He slams the ground with his axe and creates a shockwave that damages all enemies in its area of effect. Enemy heroes at the edge of Groundbreaker's damage zone are pulled toward Garrosh on impact. Bloodthirst is Garrosh's primary method of sustain. With a quick swipe of his axe, Garrosh deals damage to an enemy and heals himself for a percentage of his missing health. Bloodthirst's heal is doubled if used on an enemy hero. Wrecking Ball provides Garrosh with a powerful repositioning oh. tool. When activated, Garrosh picks up the nearest enemy and throws them to a target location, damaging and slowing all enemies in the area. <laughs> Garrosh's first heroic ability is Warlord's Challenge. He lets out a fearsome battle cry, taunting nearby enemy heroes and forcing them to attack him for a short amount of time. Decimate offers a more offense-oriented heroic option. Garrosh quickly spins around, damaging and slowing all nearby enemies. This ability stores up to three charges and has a short cooldown. Decimate deals double damage to enemy heroes, and its cooldown is reduced for each hero it hits. Wait, what did he just do? Did he just crush the skull? Garrosh 
Josh is a durable solo tank who becomes even harder to kill as he loses health, making him especially effective when paired up with a healer like Malfurion or Lucio. But keep in mind that Garrosh's comparatively low health pool and his reliance on armor make him susceptible to abilities that deal a percentage of health as damage, such as Malthael's Reaper's Mark. Though Garrosh doesn't have much in the way of mobility, his Groundbreaker and Wrecking Ball abilities are both powerful tools for displacing the enemy team. With proper positioning and well-timed use of his abilities, Garrosh can force an enemy hero into an unwinnable situation so he and his team can secure a kill. At level one, Garrosh can take- Activate to deal 115 damage to a target enemy and slow them by 50, uh, by 30% for two seconds. As a 20 second cooldown new talent, damage is increased by 150% of armor's current bonus. So let's say if you have 50% armor, you get 125% extra damage if, by my reckoning. So you do like 280 damage. And the slow amount is increased by 30% if armor ups bonus is above 25. Okay. I mean, I would have to do the maths, talent. but it's pretty cool. The body check talent. This gives him an active ability that damages and slows an enemy and deals additional damage based on Garrosh's current armor. At later levels, Garrosh can take additional talents that further empower body check, giving it a shorter cooldown and the ability to reduce the healing that an enemy receives. If you take the Into the Fray talent, Garrosh gains the ability to throw allies, yes! allowing you to reposition your teammates. This can be used to remove Let's see that danger. Again. Ability to throw allies, allowing you to reposition your teammates. This can be used to remove them from danger or to enhance their mobility. Great it will never be used for trolling. That's the great part. On Garrosh's current armor. At later levels, Garrosh can take additional talents that further empower body check, giving it a shorter cooldown and the ability to reduce the healing that an enemy receives. If you take the Into the Fray talent, Garrosh gains the ability to throw allies, allowing you to reposition your teammates. This can be used to remove them from danger or to enhance their mobility, greatly benefiting low mobility tanks like Arthas or Dahaka. When using Wrecking Ball or Into the Fray, remember that both can throw minions as well as heroes. Position yourself carefully so that the Horde insignia appears over the- Oh, the Horde insignia! So you can see uh, who's going to be thrown. Hey, you can throw away your own wizard minions to deny regeneration globes to the opponent. Or you can throw your allies in so that they can kill Abathur. Or you can throw your allied Ario into the four. <laughs> no, don't do that. You want to throw before you use the ability. With his father's axe in hand, Garrosh will stop at nothing to conquer the Nexus and destroy all who dare oppose him. Make sure to leave us a comment and subscribe to Heroes of the Storm on YouTube and around the web, and we'll see you in the Nexus. Bring it on! You can literally throw the game, game's heroes around with Garrosh. Awesome stuff. Awesome stuff. I can't believe we have to wait four and a half more days. Cool era. Heh, <laughs> greetings. Genji has been getting a lot of complaints. He has good win rate at the high ladder. I expect nerf. Greymane, I expect cursed bullet nerf. Uh, Tychus, I'm not sure. Uh, Zul, maybe, maybe a bit of a nerf. He's doing pretty good, but I'm not sure. Stukov, maybe a little bit of a nerf. Uther, I definitely expect a nerf. Uh, Chen, I actually heard about that one already, so he gets a drinking change. Uh, Muradin is the lowest win rate warrior across the board, so I expect a buff. Rexar, I expect a buff.